You can tell the pitmasters are making the magic happen every time you walk through the doors of Kreitz Market. The delicious smell of smoked meats greets your every visit. Not going to be in Lockhart for a while? Kreitz Market ships nationwide. Stop by Kreitz Market at 619 North Colorado in Lockhart or find us on the web, kreitzmarket.com. That's K-R-E-U-Z market.com. No sauce, no forks, just good taste naturally. First Lockhart National Bank has been meeting the needs of Caldwell County since 1889. We now serve Travis County with a branch on Slaughter Lane and Hayes County with a branch in Kyle, plus a brand new location in San Marcos. As a member of each of the communities we serve, our relationship bankers, tellers, loan officers, and managers are committed to achieving the financial goals of every customer, one interaction at a time. So whether you're dreaming of a new house, buying a boat, or sending your children off to college, First Lockhart National Bank will be there every step of the way with financial services and guidance you can trust. Parenting is full of surprises. You never know what to expect. So after our son was born, I called my Texas Farm Bureau insurance agent to set up a life insurance policy in case something happened to me. Sawyer is now two. And we'll soon have a sister. There's no one else I would trust with protecting my family. Coverage and discounts are subject to qualifications and policy terms and may vary by situation. Hello, Americans. Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. They offer up the kind of one-on-one -on -one service that will follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset. By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy or trade. Now you know the best of the story. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lockhart, Texas. We're here at the football slash soccer stadium. And uh, tonight, the Lockhart Lions will be taking on the McCallum uh, Knights in a game that's going to be closely contested as McCallum comes into the contest at 3-2-2, two, and two, and Lockhart comes in at 5-2-2. Two, and, two, and uh, I do know that Lockhart is in second position in district play right now. Um, obviously, the top four teams will be uh, making the playoffs as they do in all the sports. Um, real quickly, want to talk a little bit about uh, what's going on here. I have my QA, Rosie Vega. I've had Rosie with me numerous times. Uh, hopefully this will not be one of those usual times where Rosie and I will end up being in the broadcast system for almost until midnight, it seems like. Uh, usually she has the overtime games or whatever happens or the late starting games. This one seems to be on time, so we should be able to get done at a pretty good time here. But again, Rosie Vega will be my QA. And tonight I will be, since it's soccer and it's not a real super fast-paced game, I am the producer, I am the commentator, and I guess even the color commentator at that point. I'll be keeping the stats for you to let you know what the number of shots have been taken, uh, the corner kicks, and with my old man eyes, I'll see if I can find out who scored the goals and whatnot. I've got rosters for both teams, and, and we'll get this thing ready to go. We're about six minutes away from the kickoff starting in what should be, again, a very closely contested uh, match. We have a full moon out here tonight. Um, I'm looking for flags, and I do not see any flags. So I can't tell you what the wind conditions are like, but when I was out there earlier, wind was really not a factor whatsoever. Um, real quickly, I want to give you a shout-out to those, uh, those people that sponsor us, but they do not have commercials. We'll go with the Pearl, the Ronda Reagan Realty, Diesel Dog, Snap Fitness, State Farm, and Westies. We thank you, folks, because without you, we would not have these shows. Um, also tonight, just kind of going through uh, the, the soccer team. I've been following on Twitter, and they've done well. They've uh, they've played the, some good schools to very tight games. They've tied a few of the good schools, and they've also um, – taking care of business on the wins obviously with five wins and two losses and two ties uh, looking ahead next Friday we will also have boys soccer here 
and it'll be the same start time at about 7.35. We'll go with the pregame, and at 7.45, we'll have the kickoff, and that'll be another contest that we'll have for you for boys soccer. Unfortunately, uh, with all of the, the weirdest weather I've, I think I've ever been involved in since I lived back in Kansas, in which you had all the snow, you had all the ice, and everything that came with it, um, you know, getting out and about for me was not that big of a deal driving around in it but i know a lot of my friends who are not used to this situation just snowed in iced in things of that nature some people no water things like that no electricity and um, fortunately you know here in lockhart the majority of us we had the rolling blackouts most of us had water throughout the whole time but because of that storm we missed out on two of the girls soccer matches we were supposed to call two matches for them during, right before and during that time. And because of it, we were unable to cover either match. So we're hoping to maybe get one in before the end of the season. But I've also, um, when I uh, put my schedule in, uh, Lions Pride pretty much could pick up whatever I was unable to do. And I have a feeling a lot of those games have already been um, called for by Emilio and his crew so we'll have to see how that plays out but we're hoping to get at least one of the girls matches in here and then obviously uh, it looks like both teams are doing fairly well to where they might make the playoffs and um, and if that's the case then you know we'll be following there on that situation so with about three minutes 15 seconds to go before the kickoff I'm going to go ahead and give some love to our people that have the commercials for the the sponsorships uh, you're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network, fueled by Vibe Live. Dr. Peterson and his staff at Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic are here to serve you. We've been voted best chiropractor and best chiropractor's office for five years running. Are you bothered by headaches, back pain, or neck pain? Call Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic at 512-668-4163 to make your appointment. Mention this ad to receive a consultation, exam, and x-rays if needed for only $20. Call 512-668-4163 and begin your journey to hope, healing, and health. Johnny and Sons Pain Body has been Lockhart's premier collision repair and auto body shop since 1967. Certified iCar Standard, the highest ranking in the collision industry. For all your collision needs, come by and see Johnny and Sons 400 Blackjack in Lockhart. Johnny and Sons Pain Body, we won't steer you wrong. Chisholm Trail Barbecue features slow cooked brisket, hot sausage, beef, and pork ribs done the right way. In a town famous for barbecue, Chisholm Trail is where the locals come to eat. Visit Chisholm Trail Barbecue, 1323 South Colorado in Lockhart, and come by after the game. Chisholm Trail Barbecue stays open until midnight after every home football game. Part Design Build LLC is a general contractor who resides and serves Lockhart residents and surrounding communities. Part Design Build LLC is a local builder established in 2006 and is insured, bonded, and accredited by the Better Business Bureau. Part Design Build LLC provides both residential and commercial new construction, remodeling services, and specializes in kitchen and bath design. Call 512-784-6940 or email kpartdesignbuild at yahoo.com to schedule a consultation with free estimates. Follow them on Facebook at Kpart Design Build and at Kpart Kitchen Bath. Green Group Holdings is a proud sponsor of Lion Country. Green Group is an environmental services company that specializes in the planning, implementation, and operation of waste disposal, recycling, reuse, and restoration projects. These projects are designed with the environment and safety as the highest priorities, with an approach that provides significant value to the communities in which they're located. Currently, Green Group is proposing a development in northern Caldwell County, 130 Environmental Park. This proposed project will be a state-of-the-art, environmentally friendly, mixed-use development a few miles north of Lockhart, Texas. All right, we're back here in Lion, uh, Lion Country, uh Lion Country Broadcast Network, fueled by Vibe Live, and this is Scott Smith doing the play-by-play -play and producing of the match tonight. Uh, again, my QA, Rosie Vega, and I guess we had a little bit of a um, kind of not sure what was going on. 
This is actually all audio. We have no video for the game tonight, nor will we next Friday. Uh, we're going to try to get video involved with girls softball, which is just around the corner as well. But we'll still, we're still we working on that situation right now. There's a good chance that we will be able to video the the uh, softball match uh, games, but as far as the soccer matches, we will not. It doesn't look like we're going to have a national anthem or anything like that. We're getting ready to start. McCallum will be kicking off going from left to right on your computer screen. First half is underway as McCallum will get it and go. And at the conclusion of this match, we'll have your Chuck Nash offensive players of the game and your Johnny and Sons defensive players of the game. Right now, it's just McCallum kind of testing the ball, playing it around. Uh, last year, very good squad, uh, doing a really good job right now of just give and go, one touches, um, really no movement other than the ball playing, and that's kind of the way as a coach you want to see things done. Let the ball do the work. Don't have the players do all the work. Right now, Lockhart will retain possession, and Jorge Cruz was able to get the steal, and there's a foul immediately called. And I want to say that's James, James, Alfredo. Yep, the big man. No, actually, it was not. That was Penazola. He was the one that got upended. So, uh, Lions will have it. Moving up the left side, that was um, Para that had the ball. He ended up losing it and then fouled later. Um, it'll be taken back over by McCallum where Johnson starts play. <clears throat> it looks like Samuel Kanuski is in line uh, in the goal for McCallum, and I'm trying to figure out who the goalkeeper is for the Lions, as they absolutely do not have. Oh, there we go. I want to say it is Hernandez. Pedro Hernandez is in the goal for the Lions. So far, both teams trying to fill each other out as far as short passing to see what they can get away with. Um, goal kick will go to the Lions. And it, if it's anything what they had last year, um, it was just amazing how they worked the ball around the field. And, and Reyes has, does a great job of getting them to work together. And they look like they're doing even better this year. Uh, they tried to go with a cross uh, field pass there. McCallum gets the steal. Pargis, uh, Parsegian, I'm sorry, was the man with the ball. He's going to get it up the left side. The Lions do a great job of fending that off, and it will go out of bounds, and it will be another goal kick for your Lockhart Lions. I can say that on the other on the other broadcast, that if you are wanting to catch up with the baseball and softball, that um, I believe Emilio Juarez has got the baseball tournament going on here in Lockhart. And his other sidekick group is doing girls softball, and they're covering a tournament as well. I mean, a fairly good night for soccer. It's not it's not cold by any means, so this kind of temperature really plays well for the soccer players. Not too hot, not a lot of wind, and right now the Lions are in the back, and they've been in the back most of the time. But they are doing a pretty good job of getting the passes out. It's only the times when they make long passes when McCallum is stepping in front of them. Lockhart has made no real attempt to put any kind of offense together yet. It's been all McCallum to this point. Uh, they were wanting a foul called as that was DeMont that got tripped up, but no call. They're going to play on. Lockhart clears it out on the right side, and McCallum will get the throw in. And I do remember, again, last year McCallum was very solid. Um, There's a lot of guys missing. They had some really tall and athletic kids in the middle of the field, but I think they both graduated. But they are still p producing the ball and holding the ball most of the way here. And again, wow, I'm surprised we got away with that one as <coughs> Blake Steckel got upended. Now the Lions are trying to make a move here as uh, Cantera has it in the middle. He'll get it off to Cruz. Cruz will rip the shot. And the keeper's got just enough of it to keep it out of the goal, but it's going to be a corner kick. So the Lions will get actually the first shot of the first half. Even though they've had very little possession, they get a shot from Cruz, the uh, junior winger. And he basically started on the left side, brought it to the middle, 
and just ripped the shot, and the keeper had to do everything he could to keep it out of the goal, and now we'll have a corner kick. The Lions are overloading the back side. Oh, a scissor kick doesn't go, but it was very nice to watch. And they try to get it inside, and I believe we're going to have another corner kick. Yeah, as it uh, looks like Carrillo was uh, trying to get the, the ball into the middle, but it was deflected off a player, and uh, <coughs> and the, we're going to get another corner kick. So that'll be the second corner kick of the first half already. And again, possession's been all McCallum, but we've had it down the field one time, and now we have another corner kick. Nice corner kick on the back side, but McCallum able to clear it out, trying to get it back into the Lions. And we do retain possession. Cruz up the middle, out to the outside. Can we run it down, though? It's going to be close. They say it did go. Nope, they're not going to give it to him. They're going to say it uh, went out of bounds. Um, good job there by um, number 15, Carrillo, who was able to get down the sideline, but he just couldn't get it in, crossed in before he stepped out of bounds with it. So three, uh, 34 minutes to go here first half, and... Uh, 40-minute halves in high school soccer, and right now we're, we're scoreless, but the Lions are now putting some pressure on. 50-50 ball is won by the Lions, quickly turned and moved back up the field by McCallum. DeMont will throw it in. He'll get it back. The defenders are now just kind of playing with it in the back here as that's Hansen. Up the middle it goes to Steckel. Steckel's a good player. He played last year for the team. Hare is much longer this year, but he's quite the player. And there's a trip. That's got to be a foul. And are they going to say throw in or a foul? They're actually going to say a throw in. I would have called a tripping foul, but <coughs> fortunately, I guess they're letting them play. Uh, looks like they get it to the middle. It is thwarted there up the middle. Lions are really trying hard to get it out of there, but McCallum is all over them. Finally, they get it out to Contera. He'll get it up the right sideline. He's got a man coming in hard on him, but he does cut to the middle. Takes the shot, and it's saved, but, oh, a second chance does not go the keeper does a great job to get it out of there so that is three shots now for the lions is it look like uh that was cruz that was able to get another shot off he made the deflection cruz tried to run it back down but could not the ball is here on the left wing as carrillo's got it to the corner he's trying to find cruz and they're going to say it went out of bounds on mccallum so we'll get a throw in down at the mouth of their goal 32 minutes and 20 seconds to go, first half. No score here between the Lions and the McCallum Knights. McCallum, 3-2-2 two two on the season in district play. The Lions, 5-2-2, two and, two, and the Lions are in second position in district play right now. Ball is flicked over the top as uh, it was Cantera that got up there, but the keeper was able to run onto it and get it stopped. So another possession, but nothing to show for it. The Lions have the only three shots of the game as no shots have been taken yet by McCallum. Lions will get the ball back. They're going to go down the right side of play with it. Steckel gets in there and gets the steal. Back to Steckel as he cuts down the middle. Hands it off to his buddy. Up the middle they go. A chance for a shot. Trying to get it to go. There's the shot. And not much of a shot at all as... Uh, Asa, uh, what, what, let's see, Asazu, Asazu with the shot. And uh, Hernandez was able to easily pick it up. So first shot of the half for McCallum. And McCallum gets it right back. They'll chip it in. And they cannot get the play as, again, they were trying to find Kinta Asazu. And he was unable to run it down before it went out the back line. And it'll be a goal kick for the Lions. This game could go one of two ways. You got two good teams out here going to score a lot of goals or you're going to see a defensive back and forth game. 
I would venture to guess we're going to see some more shots as this game unfolds. Ball's played up. It was a good ball there by uh, Penizola. Down the line it goes. Going to try to get it cut back. Nope. Nice scissor. Gets slipped up over the ball. Still playing it. Lions contain with a possession, but McCallum's doing a good job of keeping them out of the goal box. And they finally clear it out. The Lions get it back in quickly. And then McCallum was able to force them to play it out of bounds, so Lockhart will get it right back. Good job there by Anderson to uh, get to the ball before we could get a shot off, but he mishit it and it went out of bounds. So the throw-in will go to uh, Sanchez Diaz Jr. He'll be throwing it in. Good job there by Cantera. Olvera was, I'm a little surprised <laughs> that something wasn't blown on that. Olvera got hit from behind as he had the ball, but no call. As I said, they're letting him play. Sanchez Diaz Cruz will throw it in for the Lions. Around the side it goes, and Anderson's there to plug it out of bounds. So it's going to be a throw in for your Lions. So what looked like was going to be maybe dominated half by McCallum has now kind of swung the other way where now the Lions are kind of controlling the match. Sanchez Diaz Jr. throws it in. Here comes an outside shot left-footed. And what a beautiful shot it was, but it just sailed wide. And that was uh, Parra with the shot, and that was from easily 30 yards out, but it just bent over the ball and went out of bounds. So that will be the fourth shot for your Lions here in the first half to go with two corner kicks. McCallum has only gotten the one shot thus far. And here comes McCallum the other way, as that is Parsegian sends it down the left line, and the Lions were there to knock it out. No ball boy on that side. It doesn't look like so they chase the ball down. Up oh, there's the ball boy. McCallum will throw it in. 28 minutes to go, first half, no score. Chip in by McCallum, kicked out by the Lions. Penazola was able to get it out of there, and they're going to have a throw in, are the Lions. Neither team is super big. I mean, as far as big, thick guys this year, usually when you play McCallum, you get to see some pretty big, thick athletes. They're not as big and tall this year as they were in the past. Ball's played up by Anderson. He loses control. Going the other way is Para. Gets it up. Cantera tries to send a through ball, but the defender on the left side was there. Cantera's done a good job of trying to set the table for everybody. He's a junior. Listed as a defender, but he's playing center mid today. Lions are just kind of giving what they're taking that dip there, what they're giving as Carrillo gets the ball on the left side. They'll drop it back. Para playing it forward. Finds his man, Cruz. Back to Cruz it goes. Cruz is carrying it down the middle. Sends the through ball to the right side. It's chipped back in, hits the referee. Cruz tries to shoot it, but because it hit the referee, the play's been stopped, I guess. I'm not real sure what that was. Oh, they called a foul. Okay. Wasn't real sure what that one was all about. I can't tell if they're going to have a drop ball between two players or what they're doing right now. Nope, they're just going to give it the Lions. He plays it in. I, I've Again, I, I've not seen that until I've gotten down to Texas about – you just drop the ball and let him go. But that's what they do here. Anderson with the ball, gets it knocked out. Great job defensively there by number 15, Carrillo. Olvera sends it to the right side. 
Good movement. Ball stolen away as Johnson was able to stick in there. Lions pressuring the ball everywhere it ends up at. Doing a good job. Look like a well-conditioned team. They're, they're moving around pretty good, and they seem to be moving a little quicker than McCallum is. And when you can do this to McCallum, you're, you're doing pretty well because McCallum year in and year out is going to be a great soccer team. Ball's played down the right side to Anderson. He gets to it before it goes out of bounds. He crosses it in. The ball's headed up, and the Lions will clear it out. Great job of the defensive backs to work together and get that one cleared out before it became trouble. Just under 25 minutes to go here in the first half. Again, 40-minute halves here in high school soccer. But just under 25 minutes to go, still scoreless here in Lockhart. DeMont throws it in. The ball's knocked away, and it will go to Lockhart, basically throwing it in from almost the back of the end zone of the football field. Kind of a dangerous throw in because if they just overplay us and mark us up to where we can't get it in, we're going to have a hard time getting it out of that corner. F uh, four shots for the Lions, one shot for McCallum. DeMont steals, Steck uh, Stecknell going to have it, or Steckel, I'm sorry, loses the ball, gets it back, shoots. Ooh, quite a save there by Mr. Hernandez as he almost, the power of the ball almost put him into the goal, but he was able to keep it out. So a nice save by the goalkeeper of Lockhart. Again, the, he's definitely someone to watch for. That's Blake Steckel. I remember the name. I remember the player. Very fast, very talented, playing center mid for him right now. They play it all the way back to their central defender trying to spread out the Lions here. It does look as though if um, McCallum has it, big guys are playing in the back. They're going to put it up the middle of the field, and that was going to be a Yarrow. They're wanting a foul called, and I think they got the foul call. So we'll see how they play this free kick. It would appear it's going to be a direct kick. He hasn't given a motion on it. He is going to ask for them to back up the, the 10 yards. And that, again, in the mathematical, if you're at the 27, they should be at the 17. And he has them back even further than that. <clears throat> Who am I, though? Who am I? 10 yards is 10 yards, not 10 plus 2. But they will have a free kick, and it does look like it will be a direct kick. And it is on goal, and they bury it. Not much there for as far as, uh, you know, putting anybody in front to try to ri rival them or anything, but it's going to be Seth Parsegian, who scores the first goal of the match as they were able to hit on a free kick. So the Lions will kick it off down one nothing. Here in the first half of play, I will get your scoreboard updated for you here in just a moment as the Lions still have possession. So the ball is lost. Here comes McCallum. <clears throat> now they have a bit more of a pep in their step with that one goal on a free kick. Anderson with on the right wing, drops it to the middle as he will hit Parsegian again. The Lions defense gets it out. Here comes another attempt at a shot. The Lions said no. Good job defensively there by the central defender. Now we're coming down the right side with it. Lions trying to get a, a counterattack going here. The ball's played to the center to Cruz. Cruz trying to get a shot. He's got four guys around him. He had no way of getting a shot off. But here comes a left-footed shot that's blocked by a defender. 
the shot was well taken by uh, Bustos Miranda, but it was deflected out. He gets it back, and he gets tackled from behind, and no call. Cruz with it again, still trying to bust through there, gets tripped up, no call. And now it will be D, uh, Sanchez Diaz Jr. who ends up playing it out. Sanchez Diaz Jr. has played well in the central defense tonight. Ball's played down the left side. Good job there by Overa. They give it right back to the left side. In the corner it goes. As Carillo is called off sides. So really some questionable looks so far. Um, would have called a couple fouls on that, but instead we're going to get an offsides call on it, and it will go to McCallum. McCallum leads. We're at the halfway point of the first half. 1-0, to zero, McCallum Knights, who are 3-2-2 two two overall in district play, where the Lions are 5-2-2. Two two. It will be cleared out. Beautiful kick. Lions will get it back. They win the 50. Around the corner they go. Maldonado with it. The defense does a good job of stopping him. And the keeper will clear it out. And with the Lions doing a good job. Every time McCallum gets the ball, they're really pressuring him well. <clears throat> I mean, in a situation of the free kick, the keeper is not super tall. And they went um, in the upper part of the goal with him, and he just wasn't able to get to it. But, he, I mean, the kid had a wide-open shot right in front of the goal. That's a dangerous place to be putting a foul out there. And now the Lions are trying to get back in business. Cruz has been a pain in their side. They get the ball back. One-twos all over the place. Before it is finally going to be cleared out by Guzman for McCallum. They'll kick it long now. Lopez Mares was there. <clears throat> and now the Lions will send it long. Cruz is trying to run it down. Cruz is trying to get a shot off. Gets tripped in the box. And they're not going to call anything. Oh, my gosh. There is no way that wasn't a penalty kick foul. But they don't call anything. McCallum's football coach really needs to check out these central defenders. That was a great tackle if you're a football player. And the ball's cleared out as McCallum came the other way with it. Again, want to give a shout out to Rosie Bega, my QA tonight. Um, and, it, you know, she made a, an appoint to me just now, and I'm just going to point it out in case some of you are new listeners and haven't heard before. If you're hearing a static noise or kind of a buzzing noise in the background, it's just the computer. We have tried everything to get that to go away, and it, and it doesn't work. So we just have to deal with the buzzing noise. We, we uh, act like it's crowd noise, I guess. McCallum, since scoring the goal, has picked up on the pace as far as possession again. But this time the Lions are, ooh, wow. <laughs> Another, oh, they do finally call a foul. Okay. I was going to say one of their players basically just destroyed one of our players, and I didn't think they were going to call that one. But they did. So we have a free kick going the other way. They quickly start it. We are at 17 minutes to go first half. one nothing. McCallum Knights on top. The way the two teams have played, though, I don't think one nothing is what we're going to see for a final score. Both teams have the potential to put the ball in the net, and I have a feeling, I just have a feeling, Jorge Cruz is going to find that net before this night is over. He has been a pain in their side. They are putting two and three guys on him to try to stop him from scoring. And McCallum's big men in the middle were able to clear it out as we had another Opportunity to throw it in. They play it all the way back towards the center. And they play it. Oh, good save there. Good gosh. I didn't think Parle was going to get to that one, but he did. Um, 
I did forget to tell you that McCallum wearing white tops, white socks with royal blue shorts while your lines are in all maroon with white trim. And uh, right now, Parsegian is starting to have his way with us as he's starting to be a pain in our side with the ball. He's already scored the free kick goal. They're trying to play it up to Cruz. There's another trip, no call. <coughs> and I realize that they are getting the ball, but they're getting the guy first, and that's what, where I think that they're kind of missing the calls here. I think our quickness is, is kind of messing with their big guys because they're going to the ground, getting us first, and then they're getting the ball. Right now, McCallum trying to get something going again. The Lions defense in the central doing a great job as, again, uh, Sanchez Diaz Jr. has done a super job in the middle. Once I'm able to see the other young man's number, I will let you know who he is. I was not really given what positions these guys would be playing in, so I'm looking at this from a distance. McCallum will have the throw in. Just under 15 minutes to go in the first half. Again, 40-minute halves here in high school soccer. McCallum does do a good job of playing it back, spreading out the Lions, and then attacking them. But the Lions do a great job of pressuring the ball. Pretty much whoever touches it is going to have a guy all over him. McCallum trying to counterattack here. Ball stolen away. I, I just, Anthony Parr has played really well in the back. Parra is a junior. A lot of these Lions are underclassmen. I mean, there are seniors on the Lions, but a lot of these guys are underclassmen. I mean, they were starting when they were freshmen and sophomores. McCallum trying to get things going here. Shot will be taken by, oh, I thought it was Parsegian. It was not. That one was actually taken by Gillespie, and it deflects off one of the Lions, and they'll get a, uh, a corner kick out of it. <coughs> It'll be the first corner kick of the night for, for McCallum. Right now, shots on goal, Lions 5, McCallum 4, corner kicks, Lions 2, McCallum 1, and this is their first corner kick. Cross in right at the goal. Good job there to hit the ball out and get it out of play. That was a great corner kick. Parsegian gets the ball to uh, number 19, uh, DeMont. A foul is called, so another free kick. Fortunately, this one's going to be from an angle, and this is Parsegian again with the free kick, and it will be a direct kick. Actually, a yellow card was issued. First yellow card of the night on the Lions. <clears throat> and it looks like they would have called the yellow card on Daniel Sanchez Diaz, Jr. So Parsegian... Oh, they're, bar oh, they're backing him up a little further. He was, looks like he may have tried to sneak the ball up a little closer. The left-footed kick on the back post off the keeper, and he was able to come up with it. So Pedro Hernandez first deflected it away, then was able to get his own rebound, and the kick is no good. That's five shots now for McCallum. Got to write down the yellow card here. That was the first card of the night. Ball's played down the right side. Referee got in the way again. I'm starting to think maybe he has someone on the other team playing for him because that's the second time he's been in the way of us trying to get a shot or a playoff. Looks to me like they're doing two-man uh, two refereeing crews this year. Usually there's three. Tonight just two. It's always more difficult for the, these guys to have a two-man crew because now you got more area to cover and you're not 
you don't have anybody right there on the play. You can't see it as closely as if you had a center official. So the ball is played to the left side, and it is Cadillo coming down the left. They finally are able to get out of the mix. Up middle it goes. F Cruz flicks it through. Cadillo plays it up. Almost had a chance at it. Good pass to, uh, actually, that, the yellow card couldn't have been on Diaz because he's on the, uh, the field right now. So I'm not sure who the, the foul was on or the card was on. So Sanchez Diaz Jr. will throw it in. No call. Are you kidding me? Okay, they finally called it. So we have a guy down now. His legs got clipped out from under him. No cards. And that was about as dangerous of a play as you could see in a high school game. There was no playing that ball at all. So the Lions will have an opportunity just outside the 18-yard box on the left side. So the Lions can either chip it in like a corner kick or try to somehow bend it through. It depends on if a left-footed kicker is taking it or a right-footed kicker will be taking this. It will be a left-footed kicker. Shot is taken and so close. Penazola tried to get it in there, and he just missed. Beautiful shot. It literally hit the uh, top of the bar and went over and hit the crossbar on the football field or on the full goal post. Beautiful shot, though. We were about three inches away from having this score tied up. Nine minutes to go first half. one nothing. McCallum. Cruz gets the ball, going to go around the right side, plays it to the middle, and the keeper was fortunate to get there before um, our player could. A great job there as they are trying to really pressure him up front now. It will be um, Kanuski. He'll play it out. Lions battling away here. Pata with it on the left side. Plays it towards the middle. Good job by Alvera. The left sideline they go. And McCallum clears it out of bounds. Lopez might as well throw it in. And now they're coming back the other way as Asuza or Asuzu. They'll play it all the way back. Cantera was there. Now he's playing defense. He's no longer up in the middle. And they've switched some guys around. They're going to play it long, but nobody was there. Lopez Mares is going to play with it now. To the right back. <clears throat> Cantera plays it all the way to the left side. Now they're going to attack. Up the left sideline. Cruz with a nice back heel. Another nice back heel. Here come the Lions. Another guy tripped up. And no call. I'm not liking this two-man crew situation because they're not seeing the things that are right on top of them. A shot is taken, but not much of one to put anything on anybody. Is Perez Madonna, Maldonado, I'm sorry, was it with the seventh shot of the first half for the Lions. Down the right wing it goes. Asuzu crosses to the middle. The Lions trying to clear it out. They get it to the, out to the wing. Nice one, two. The ball's knocked out. The Lions will get it back. Six and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Still one nothing McCallum. They scored on a free kick from about 25 yards out, and that's been the difference in the game thus far. The Lions have outshot McCallum 7-5. But McCallum has the ball. 
and I'm trying to see if they're going to give him a corner. They will. So that'll be the second corner kick of the half for McCallum. Just under six minutes to go, first half. 40-minute halves played by the high school soccer teams. Nice job, but again, even better job by Pedro Hernandez as he was able to go up and get that. It was a great corner kick, but he, he beat the guy to it. At halftime, we'll go through the remainder of our um, sponsors so you can get the love in because in soccer, you don't get much opportunity to play to play commercials. Cruz was trying to send one down the line as he was looking at Sanchez Diaz Jr., but he misplayed it and it went out of bounds. So they, <laughs> they're calling a foul on us. <laughs> wow. Didn't even touch him. The guy just flopped and they called the foul on us. We've been getting manhandled in the box and nothing. Can't even buy a foul. So it will be a free kick for Hansen. Sends it down the line. Good job defensively. As they took that away from him. And it will go to the Lions as the ball last touched. Asuzu. And it gets flicked out of bounds, so the Lions will get it back. Four minutes to go, first half. one nothing, McCallum. I will be very shocked if the score stays one nothing at the conclusion of this match. Both teams have the potential to score goals, and both teams have very, been very close to scoring goals. Oh, good defense there by... DeMont as he was able to get it away from the Lions. And now the whistle comes in late. Hmm. We're at the three-minute mark. A lot of questionable calls here in the first half. Give a shout-out while we have a dead ball to Rosie Beg and my QA. My name's Scott Smith doing the producing and the play-by-play. -play. The ball was shot uh, by Hanson. It went way off his foot and misses, so the Lions will get a goal kick. Now, this is the point in the half where... Neither team really wants to give up a goal. If the Lions were to give up a goal, they're going to be down two at half, whereas McCallum doesn't want to give up a goal because then they would have given the Lions new life right before the half. The Lions trying to play it up the right side, and they do. It's stolen away, and now that both teams are fighting for the ball, Gillespie tried to get up the field against us. Cruz with it up the middle. He'll drop it down to the left back. Cruz getting bumped around. They're able to get the ball to Para. Good job by Cruz. He's not the biggest guy out there, but he's definitely fighting everybody. Sanchez Diaz has the ball taken from him. Here comes McCallum. They try to cross it to the middle. And they're just going to drop it to their defense. Minute and a half to go, first half. One to nothing, McCallum Knights on top. McCallum Knights are 3-2-2 two, two this year in district play. The Lions are 5-2-2. Two, and, two, and in second place right now in the district. Down around the left side. Nobody there, but he's still battling for it. Great effort there by number five. Abraham Perez Maldonado was not going to give up on that. 
Diaz Jr. with the ball over to the right side. He'll get it off to Maldonado. They'll play it to the middle. Here we come around the left side, trying to drag the ball. Cross it in. Nobody's there, and they'll play it out. They were looking for Cruz, but they couldn't find him. Lockhart will throw it in quickly. 40 seconds to go. Ball's loose. Oh, the Lions couldn't get a shot into the goal, but they were close. The defender had to head it out because the keeper misplayed it. They're going to still try, though. Looking to get a shot off. Can't. They'll send it long. Keeper can't catch it. Wow, that was dangerous for McCallum there. The keeper should have caught that, but didn't. Ten seconds left. The Lions still trying to score. And they're not going to get a shot off. That is how the first half will end here in Lockhart, where McCallum got a free kick, and they were able to score on it. That was scored by Seth Parsegian on a free kick, making it McCallum 1, your Lions nothing here at the halftime we're going to go ahead and go to a commercial break and when we come back we will give you your stats for the first half you're listening to lion country broadcast network fueled by vibe live for over 15 years rain and drywall and paint has been serving lockhart and the surrounding counties we are experienced in all phases of construction you can count on us for any exterior or interior painting job call 512-925-0634 to schedule an appointment with rain and drywall and paint today Come on in to Texas Oil Express, where we can change your oil in under 10 minutes. We also do inspection stickers. Be sure to shop Lockhart first and check us out on Facebook. Voted Caldwell County's best oil change in 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2013, 2018, and 2019. Link Realty proudly supports Lockhart Lions Athletics. For all of your real estate needs, come see Link Realty on the square in Lockhart or visit them online at linkrealtytx.com. Meitler Storage is locally owned by Angela and Darren Meitler. Since 2002, Meitler Storage is just off Highway 142 in Maxwell, Texas, across from the Valero. For an appointment, call 512-398-7100. Your business is always appreciated. And a reminder, once a lion, always a lion. Go Lions! For your plumbing service work in Caldwell County, call Darren Meitler from Meitler Plumbing at 512-398-3146. Meitler Plumbing, a local and family business, has been in the Caldwell County area for over 30 years. Voted best plumber in Caldwell County multiple times. Holds a master's license and bonded. Call Meitler Plumbing for your plumbing service work at 512-398-3146. Owner Darren Meitler, a 1989 Lockhart alumni and football captain for for the Lockhart Lions. Go Lions! Once a lion, always a lion. Central Texas Refuse LLC is a highly respected full-service waste collection and recycling company serving Central Texas and the surrounding areas. CTR has proudly been servicing the cities of Round Rock, Cedar Park, and Lockhart for decades. CTR is one of the largest independent waste collection service companies in Central Texas. Founded in 1981, CTR has grown through organic expansion and currently operates from four primary locations in South East Austin, Round Rock, Lockhart, and from Wilco, a comprehensive single stream recycling facility in Williamson County. CTR is honored to be a sponsor of Lockhart High School Boys and Girls Sports. Go Lions! All right, we're back here in Lockhart, the football slash soccer stadium. We're about seven minutes away to kick off the second half real quickly. Want to give you a shout out to the sponsors who do have, not have commercials, but our sponsors. The Pearl. Ronda Reagan Realty, Diesel Dogs, Snap Fitness, State Farm, and Westies. We appreciate you folks because without your sponsorships, we would not have these games. So the stats for the first half, um, pretty ba I mean, they're across the board, pretty even. The Lions, have been, when they get to the goal, are a little more uh, aggressive than McCallum. So the stats kind of look as this. For McCallum, they have five shots and two corner kicks. 
They got their one goal from Seth Parsegian, a free kick just from about 30, uh, just inside 30 yards out, I would say, straight on. Pretty much uh, anybody who's got a pretty accurate kick from a distance, that's money in the bank right there, especially when you have a goalkeeper that's not as tall as your average person. And and that's kind of where we're at. Is We do have a shorter goalkeeper, and they were able to go the upper 90s on him, and he couldn't get up there and get him. Uh, for the Lions, nine shots and two corner kicks. So nine to five in shots between the two teams, Lions on top there, and the corners are even at two. Again, the one goal, Seth Barsigi in the free kick right in front of the goal from about 28, 25 yards out. That's the first half stats and what's going on there. At the end of the game, we will have your Chuck Nash offensive player of the game, and we'll also have your defensive player of the game, which is sponsored by Johnny and Sons. So just kind of circling back to where we started here, QA Rosie Bega, she's doing the show, and this may be one of the, and I, I say this, and I better knock on some wood around here, but this may be one of the games where Rosie and I will actually get out of here in a decent hour. Normally when she and I are paired up, we have some of the latest games that have ever been played. I think one night we almost made it past midnight because of the game starting so late, and we almost saw the next day and started the day before. So usually she and I always have those long games, but tonight I think we're going to get through okay. Uh, appreciate her doing what she does, listening to the match and making sure everything sounds good. Again, next Friday we will have boys soccer here again. And it will be another district game played here on Friday night. Um, this will not be video. Um, quite frankly, when when it comes to this, I'm the only one doing this. There's really no way that I can film a game, call a game, do the commercial, do the producing, and all that. It's just not – that's just too much for one person to do. Uh, we So we do not have video on this. Um, I know that the school is streaming a live version of it, so if you wanted to uh, – watch the stream from the high school and listen to us while it's being played you could do that as well um, again one nothing knights on top the knights came in at three and th three two and two in district play and the lions came in at five two and two in district play uh, the lions are in second place right now in district play so they have a playoff spot and just kind of looking at what's left on the schedule there's only like three matches left after this and I would venture to guess, unless they just have a major meltdown bet between now and the end of the season, the Lions are going to the playoffs. They would have gone last year had we been able to finish the season, but unfortunately we were not able to do so. The Lions had a great season last year, played really well, had a bunch of young players who are now the sophomores and juniors of the team, and there's a few seniors out there as well. Um... 3.20 to go before the second half kickoff begins. And I'm going to go ahead and go back to some commercial love here for uh, Lion Country. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network, fueled by Vipe Live. You can tell the pitmasters are making the magic happen every time you walk through the doors of Kreitz Market. The delicious smell of smoked meats greets your every visit. Not going to be in Lockhart for a while? Kreitz Market ships nationwide. Stop by Kreitz Market at 619 North Colorado in Lockhart or find us on the web, kreitzmarket.com. That's K-R-E-U-Z market.com. No sauce, no forks, just good taste naturally. If you're more of a my money works for me kind of person, you're going to love free Kasasa cash checking from First Lockhart National Bank. With a few simple qualifications, your account will earn a great rate on the money you have with us. To learn more about Kasasa cash checking, head on over to First Lockhart National Bank. Parenting is full of surprises. You never know what to expect. So after our son was born, I called my Texas Farm Bureau insurance agent to set up a life insurance policy in case something happened to me. Sawyer is now two. And we'll soon have a sister. There's no one else I would trust with protecting my family. Coverage of discounts are subject to qualifications and policy terms and may vary by situation. Hello, Americans. Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. 
They offer up the kind of one-on-one -on -one service that will follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset. By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy or trade. And now you know the best of the story. All right, we're back here at Lockhart. And uh, sounds like everything's going pretty good here for us. Like I said, if you are someone that would like to watch the, the match, I know that the high school streams these live so that people who aren't able to get out because of COVID and whatnot can come and do that. Um, you can watch the match through the high school streaming while you're listening to us if that's what you want to do. We are unable to do video for the soccer matches. Um, we're still trying to figure out how we're going to cover a girls' soccer match because we had two of them, one right before the storm and one during the storm in which we missed out on both of the girls' matches we were going to call. And uh, so we're hoping to be able to get at least one of them in. Uh, we will have playoffs for soccer if the teams make the playoffs. And the way the boys have been playing as of late, um, I believe they will. And the girls could possibly be doing that as well. Um, we also have softball coming up. Now, Lions Pride was given all baseball games, so we do not get to call any of the baseball games at all. So uh, that will be Amelia's group calling the baseball. Uh, we will have softball, and I think we've got about eight nine games that we're going to call uh, as the season pr produces into the uh, district play. And those will come up, and we are going to try to do video for that. That will be a lot easier because we can put the camera right behind the plate and see the game. Second half has started here in Lockhart. The Lions are going from left to right on your computer screen, and they're going to start out with it in the back. Most teams do that. They'll play it all the way to their backs spreading out the other team and just kind of getting some good touches on the ball, hoping not to make any mistakes in the back. The Lions have played well tonight. I'm very impressed with how they're playing. Um, I think we might have gotten a few more shots off had some of the fouls been called. And quite frankly, there's been two occasions where we should have had penalty kicks. So this score could easily be tied right now. But the Lions are back. Uh, they had nine shots in the first half. McCallum had five. Nobody has taken a shot yet. McCallum now in possession of the ball. Now we get to see the other side of the ball where Golier is uh, the left back for McCallum, plays it up. The Lions will get it back, and they are playing it up to De Leon. I wondered where he was. I figured he would be a captain. I think that's a captain bar on him. But De Leon is playing there. I wondered where he would be because he's been playing since he was a freshman. Now that you get the field flipped, you get to see the other half of the guys. They tried to play it up to Cruz. They were able to clear it out. Ball's played to the left side. De Leon with it. Down the line it goes. And that I'm almost 100% sure he has a captain's band on. It's hard to believe he is a senior now. Man, I've been doing this a long time because I remember when he was a freshman playing. I've been doing this for five years for the Lions. And uh, it's just hard to believe some of these kids have gone from their freshman years and now they're seniors. Down the line it goes. Down the right side it goes. Cantera being played down the sideline, staying with it. Crosses it in. It's deflected away. And they were able to clear it out. Cantera did a great job of getting it down the sideline. And the ball will go out of bounds, and it will go to McCallum. Again, they play 40-minute halves. We're right at right now 37 minutes and 30 seconds left to go in the match. There is no overtime in district play. If it ends in a tie, it ends in a tie. Ball is being played down the left side by Guzman. They'll send it across the field, and the Lions are there to intercept. And they're going to call an elbow on the Lions. I mean, I know I'm biased, but I've <laughs> I have wondered how some of these calls have gone the way they've gone, or the fact that there hasn't been any calls. But McCallum will have a free kick, and one of their big guys will be taking it on the football field, he'll be taking it from the 40-yard line, which is 50 yards away from the goal. 
and that's going to be uh, ha uh, Hanson going to be taking that. Probably easily 6-4. Kicks it over the top. The ball is headed out. They get it back and shoot. Gillespie with a beautiful shot from the left side. But again, Pedro Hernandez is there to make the save. I will say that the Lions do get me a little nervous there when they play with the ball as much as they do in the back, right in front of their goal. Ball is played out. Lions will get it back. Sanchez Diaz will be throwing it in. Angel getting roughed up a bit, but he comes out with it. Nice move by Cantera. De Leon will play it back all the way to Lopez Maras. Up the middle it goes. They'll finally get it to De Leon. Or no, that's not De Leon. They'll chip it over the top, though. And it's now down the left side. And that actually was uh, Penazola. Good gravy. I can't even read my own writing. Penaloza. I apologize. Ball is thrown in by McCallum. They just kind of kick it forward. Now the ball is going to bounce over to the right side. Lions are trying to play it back to their defenders. Oh, the ball is stolen away. Good job there by Parsegian. Stanek was trying to go around the outside, but he gets tripped up. They will finally throw it in. And Johnson's going to send it back to his defenders to reset, trying to spread the Lions out a little bit. Lions do a good job of battling in the middle. A lot of people hitting the turf. Not a lot of calls being made. De Leon will run it down. Plays it in the middle. Olvera sends it forward. They'll send a through ball up the middle. Around the right side we go, being double teamed. Good job by Sanchez Diaz Jr. Crosses it in, and just in time the keeper steps in there. We might have saw our first goal, but the keeper stepped in there and was able to make the play. Kanuski for McCallum just saved him a goal. Guzman takes it down the left side. Penaloza was there to make the play, but the ball ricocheted off the defender's legs and went the other way. Now the Lions are fighting to get it back, and they do. Cruz with it. Diaz Sanchez. The ball is knocked out, but I'm not sure. Are they going to give him a corner? They will give him a corner. So the Lions will pick up their first corner of the second half, giving them three for the match. Weird enough, neither team has taken a shot yet this half. So the Lions will, again, overload the backside and try to run onto the cross. The ball is put into play. Nobody was able to get to it for the Lions. Now the ricochet shot by De Leon gets into the mix, but they'll clear it out. De Leon really doesn't get credited for the shot because it never actually even made it close to the goal because the defenders were just packed in there. Baldonado will be throwing it in. Cantera. Played it while getting shoved and was able to get it out of there. Lions just looking for an opening. 
Parsegian gets the steal, sends it down the left side. He tried to get it to Ayero, and it was knocked out by the Lions. So McCallum will have the ball with 31.40 to go here in the first or second half. One to nothing, the Knights are on top. Their only goal was on a free kick from about 28 yards out, straight on to goal. Pretty much a, a give me if you've got a gifted um, outside shooter. And that's exactly what Parsegian is, and he was able to find the net. That's been the biggest scare of the night. Most of the shots that have been taken tonight really haven't been that scary for either team, to be honest. And there's a shot by um, Steckel, but it didn't do much of anything, and the Lions will get it right back and clear it down the line. De Leon just about came up with a big steal. Guzman will play it towards the middle for McCallum. They'll switch the fields. Gillespie has switched from the left side to the right side now. Ball's crossed to the middle, and the keeper's there as he was able to beat Ayero to the ball. Great job again by Pedro Hernandez, who's really trying to battle himself into being possibly the defensive player of the game as he's done very well for the Lions inside. Trying to wait. It, the thing I don't like about having, not having a center uh, center lineman, is you can't tell who's getting the ball. Usually, you can see the guy in the middle. He'll tell you which way it's going. These two gentlemen aren't doing very well with the arm gestures, so we're just, I mean, we're we'll having to see what happens, how it unfolds. The Callum will get the throw in. <clears throat> McCallum loses the ball to the Lions. They'll play it up. <coughs> Excuse me. They tried to get the ball inside. They did. Uh, McCallum did a good job of keeping us out. De Leon has it on the right side. Cuts to the middle. He's going to play it out on the right wing. In the corner it goes. Do they get it in the middle? Nobody's there, though. It was a pretty good pass, but no one was there to receive it. Now McCallum's going to come out with it. We are... Closing in on 29 minutes to go in the contest. Lions will retrieve the ball back. And then uh, just as soon as we got it, Steckel got in there and got the steal. <coughs> Both teams have played very well tonight. Um, one of them is going to walk off the field disappointed because, they, again, both of them deserve to walk off of here with a win. They both played well. I'm still going to be shocked if one to nothing is how this match ends. Lions will get ready to throw it in. Alvera will take it. They flick it over the middle to Cruz, and then the ball gets cleared out. Alvera gets it right back. Lopez Mares will switch it to the left side. Now they're going to go attack on the left side. They actually had a lot of success on the left side in the first half. Cruz will get the ball in the middle of the field, rips the shot, but it was deflected by the defender. Cruz is still battling for it. Again, not the biggest guy on the field, but he's definitely getting after it for him. So far, 10 shots for the Lions, 7 for McCallum. Three corner kicks for the Lions, two for McCallum. Again, give a shout-out to some folks that haven't given a shout-out to you tonight. Uh, oh, we have a chance at a shot. Hang on just a moment. Let's see if we can get one in there. Nope, they were able to clear it out. But give a shout-out to Clarence and Roberta Smith, the parents listening in Austin, Texas, always watching and listening to the Lions games. Give a shout-out to Rosie Bega, my QA. Doing what she does, making sure everything sounds okay for the match tonight. Right now, it's just been a lot of back and forth, not a whole lot of possession going for either group. Once one team gets it, the other one steals it back. It's been a pretty gritty game. Not a lot of, I wouldn't call it cheap stuff, but a lot of uh, bodying up, put it that way.
The McCallum will come down the right side with the ball. Again, the defenders are there. Ball's going to be thrown in. Actually, no, they're going to call a foul. So I'm, I'm trying to be about as nice as I possibly can be here, but there sure have been a lot of weird calls on the Lions tonight. Whereas the Lions are getting literally manhandled in the box, it almost seems like if they were to whisper in the direction of McCallum, they're getting a foul caught him. So another free kick coming in. It takes it right in the center. The Lions were able to head it out of there. Good job by the Lions. De Leon was able to get it out of there. They'll get it up to Cruz. Cruz gets knocked to the ground, and finally something gets called. Waiting for the, the free kick to be taken. Lopez Matas is going to take it. Or nope, that's Alvera. Up the left sideline, but too much mustard on that one, and it goes out of bounds. Just under 26 minutes to go here in the second half. The Lions are down against McCallum 1-0. It's been a very good soccer match. I mean, both of these teams definitely want to win this match. They're both very good, and um, I think we'll be seeing both of these teams when the playoffs come rolling around. Someone's going to walk off here tonight losing a match and knowing that they probably should have won because, I mean, we're literally to the point to where these two teams, um, it could have gone either way so far. We have plenty of time for a goal to be scored, but right now McCallum's one scary shot was on the free kick. Cruz taking it down the right sideline. Again, getting bodied up, and it is going to be a goal kick. Not a whole lot for the Lions fans to get excited about. But honestly, if there was McCallum people here, there wouldn't be a lot to get excited about. The teams are doing pretty good in between the 20s, getting it down to the goal area. It's just neither team has really gotten off any good shots. The keepers have made a couple decent saves, but nothing that's been like, oh, my gosh, that almost went in kind of thing. Um, Cruz had a couple of them early on, but since then, not a whole lot going on. I think they have figured out Cruz is kind of the scary guy up front because he literally has guys twice his size doubling up on him so he can't get shots off. The Lions will get a free kick around the 25-yard line of the football field on the right side. He's asking for 10 yards. Finally, the referee steps in and does what he's supposed to do. Let's see if he gives him 12 yards like he did in the first half. Oh, wow, he actually did 10 on that one. But we have kind of a similar situation here where Jorge Alvera sends it into the back post. Instead of shooting, he passed, and the header went over the top. And it went. Uh, it looked like Cardenas Carrillo was the one that headed it over the goal, so that'll, we'll give that a shot. That's their second shot of the half. 11 for the Lions, 7 for McCallum. Like I said, it's... You know, it's not been like a, if you're wanting to see a lot of great shots and goals uh, put on the goal, th this has not been it. It's been more in beside, in between the 20s to where you've seen a lot of buildup and getting to the goal, just not a whole lot of finishing going on. McCallum will clear it out with a goal kick. 23 minutes to go here in the ball game, And a foul is called. And it's going to go against the Lions again. So everybody will retreat, and McCallum will get it started. Stenkel with it. Almost tripped over the ball. Gives it to Parsegian. He'll give it back to Stenkel. They'll get it over to uh, Johnson. Inside they go to Ayero. Ball stolen away from Lockhart, or by Lockhart. 
Carrillo is going to play it all the way back to the defenders, and they're going to send it up the field as that was Gonzalez, Rodriguez Gonzalez, who played that one forward. Bad pass for the Lions. Causes into a turnover. Stenkel gets it in the middle of the field. Pers uh, actually, that was um, Johnson that got the ball in the middle. They'll drop it back to their defenders. And the ball is loose. They're wanting a foul call. There better not be a foul because there wasn't one. We send it long. They finally got one of them for uh, grabbing the shirt as uh, Sanchez Diaz Jr. was trying to make a move and they almost ripped the shirt off of him. Finally called a foul. <laughs> I just don't like the two ref situation. Too much goes on that they don't see. Ball's played into the middle. It gets, oh, it, he didn't hit it very well. Rodriguez uh, Gonzalez tried to send it up the middle and kind of shanked it a little bit and it went out of bounds to the right. So we're at 21 minutes to go here in the second half. One to nothing, McCallum on top. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that's Alfredo that just came into the game. I'm going to have to look to see a jersey number. If it is him, it's the first time he's been on the field tonight. They try to get it in the middle of the field. They do. But McCallum's defense is there and is able to clear it out. And I do believe that's Alfredo James James, who is the uh, kicker and punter for the high school football team, as he's on the field tonight for the first time. Hawkart just about made a mistake in the back. Fortunately, they were able to get it there. Oh, they made another mistake in the back. And McCallum's going to have another opportunity. Ball is cleared out, so they got lucky there. So they made two huge mistakes, but neither one of them cost them. I always said football, Alfredo James, James, built like a middle linebacker. You can tell he's on the field now. They're not going to be able to push him around up front. And keep in mind, that's a kid that can punt the ball. Well, he can flip a field. He can punt the ball about 60 yards. He can kick field goals from about 40 to 50 yards out. So they get him the ball in an area somewhere near the goal, and he's going to be able to pop it in there. And they're going to call a foul on the Lockhart Lions. Again, one of those that you're shaking your head about. 19 minutes to go in the match. one nothing, McCallum. Coronado, I'm sorry, Conrado Reyes, the head coach, does a good job with these lines. They would have made the playoffs last year, but... COVID kind of messed that up. I thought I saw a handball by the keeper, and when I say handball by the keeper, well, he can use his hands. Not when it's played back to him by the foot of a defender, and it looked like it hit his arm, but they didn't call it. But right now, the Lions are putting some pressure on, trying to get something going here. The ball's chipped forward. Into the middle it goes. James James is trying to get to it. The Lions still have control. They'll switch fields, but I don't think they're going to be able to get to that one. Nope, it went out of bounds. So far in the game, the Lions have 11 shots and three corner kicks. McCallum has uh, eight shots and two corner kicks. The only goal in the first half was on a free kick straight on from 28 yards out by Seth Parsegian. That's been your only goal of the match. 
other than Cruz for Lockhart, there haven't been a whole lot of shots where you're like, oh, the keeper got lucky there or whatever. Cruz has put on a couple good shots, but that was early on. We haven't had much since. The Lions trying to get the ball into the goal area. They're going to send it long, does McCallum. Lockhart definitely has the quickness factor. Not a whole lot, though, going on. It's just back and forth. Now they're going to call a foul on the Lions. I probably should have kept track of fouls. That would have been interesting to stat to see. Nope, they did not call a foul. They were just going to have them throw it in. Lions will clear it out. They lose control. McCallum's going down the right side with it. It's knocked out of bounds. McCallum will keep the possession and throw it in. They're going to drop it back to their defenders. He kicks it long. Cleared out. Another shot taken, but that was way off. And they're going to call a goal kick. The ball's played out to the right side. Carrillo's going to drop it back to the central defense. Now they're trying to go up the middle of the field. Cruz is now in the back. I think now everybody's kind of getting some dead legs. Oh, they called a foul. I was wondering why everybody was walking. Looked like everybody was getting some dead legs because everybody was walking at that point. 15 minutes to go in the game. one nothing, McCallum. Rodriguez-Gonzalez will play it out to the left side. Lions trying to get something going down the left side. They had a lot of success on that side in the first half. But the Lions will lose possession there. But no, nothing to worry about as McCallum was just trying to clear it out. They... Lions defenders get right back, and now they're trying the right side of the field. <laughs> Good job there by Olvera. Almost looked like he caught the ball with both of his hands, but they did not see it. The Lions lose possession. Here comes McCallum down the left side. Shot to the far post is no good as Guzman tried to get the shot in there. And it was a nice save by Pedro Hernandez who will clear it out. Ball's played down the right side. The Lions have something going here. Around the corner he goes. Crosses it in. Oh, the defender was there. Well played by Hansen. He made sure the Lions did not get a shot towards goal. But they will get another corner kick. So that's the second corner kick this half, the fourth of the match for them. This is a big opportunity for the Lions to tie it up here with 13-15 to go in the game. Some substitutions coming in for McCallum. Eleven shots for the Lions, nine for McCallum. Backside post. Oh, he just missed. The header just hit the side netting. So it looks like they're going to give the Lions another corner kick. That's their third corner kick of the half. Five for the game.
The Lions have got to make one of these work. Get back in the game here. McCallum's doing some more substituting, trying to run some clock. The corner is way off. No chance at that one. I don't even know if it came in, in bounds when he kicked it. So 12 and a half minutes to go in the game. One to nothing, McCallum. Lions still fighting their way, trying to get a tie here. I think if the Lions could get a goal, that might pick them up a little bit to possibly get a, another one real quick. But they're going to have to find the net pretty soon. McCallum just basically playing not to lose. And they're going to call a push in the back by Olvera. And McCallum will win the, the free kick. Again, want to give a shout out to Rosie Vega, my QA tonight. Thank you very much for what you do. We appreciate it. Kind of weird working by yourself when you're used to having Kerry, Carson, and Hudson with you. Handball not called. Yep, they finally do call it. And then delay of the game should have been called, but it was not as they kicked it all the way back to our keeper. Lions will start it up. We're right around the 11 minute mark left in the match. They've got to find a game or a goal here real quick to tie this game up. Trying the left side of the field this time. Ames Ames will throw it in. And I guess they're calling a foul on the Lions. <clears throat> Again, McCallum came into the match 3-2-2. Two, and two. The Lions came into the match 5-2-2. Two, and two. The Lions are in second place in district play right now, meaning they've got a playoff spot. And I believe there's three matches left in the regular season before the playoffs will begin. And barring a major meltdown where they lost the rest of their games, the Lions should make the playoffs. The Lady Lions are trying to get themselves in the playoffs as well. Wow. That was a dangerous play. And they did not call anything. Oh, they did. So when it comes to officiating, you've got to give, you have to give hand gestures to let the players and the fans know what is going on. Right now, Reyes is in the ear of one of the officials. I don't blame him. Some of these fouls have been kind of uh, dangerous, so to speak. The Lions will have a free kick from the left side from about 50 yards away from the goal. We're going to try to chip it in and get something going here. And they didn't get it to work as they were trying to get it in there, but Hanson was able to clear it out. The Lions will get it back with a quick throw in. The Lions will have it. Nope, they're going to say McCallum gets the throw in. I'm not real sure what's going on. Neither one of these guys is signaling at all with their hands is what's going on. You have to have a center official. That's all there is to it. Ball's played in the middle of, by McCallum. The Lions will get it back. They're going to try to play the right side with it. Sends it down the line. Good job there as... Uh, Sanchez Diaz Jr. was doing really well until they knocked him down. <laughs> Cantera is trying to get to it. And they'll call a foul on him. Fans are not very happy. It's a good thing we don't have a crowd mic for this. 
Fans are not happy, and I don't blame them. I honestly do not blame them. You don't know what's going on because neither of the referees are signaling in any direction as to what is happening. They're verbally calling the game to where only the players know what's going on. The coaches don't even know what's going on because they can't see any signs. Um, Hanson will kick it down the side, but he shanks it, and the Lions will get it back. To the middle of the field it goes. Now they're going to try to work the left side. Nice job as we carry it up the middle of the field. Good job there. I'll tell you what, Parra's had a nice game as well. Ball's played into the center. A header flick towards the goal and misses as the Lions will pick up their fourth shot of the second half, but it doesn't go in. So we are now at 7 minutes, 10 seconds to go in the contest. One to nothing, McCallum. Shots are as, as, as follows, 13 for the Lions. Nine for McCallum. Five corner kicks for Lions. Two for McCallum. The only difference is, is that the, one, the only one shot they've really put on goal counted for McCallum. The Lions have yet to find the net. And another foul is called on the Lions. McCallum will put it into play on the right side. Six and a half minutes to go. At the end of the match, we'll have your offensive and defensive players of the game. Good job by the Lions keeper to keep that one out of the goal. He came out and slid tackled the guy with the ball, or it could have been two to nothing. That could have been lights out for the Lions. Lions are trying to get it down the field. Going the left side. <clears throat> okay, they called a foul. <laughs> Again, I'm sitting here trying to figure out what's going on because nobody at all is signaling what's going on. The Lions will have a free kick from about 30 yards out from the left side. It's a, For a right-footed kicker, you could aim for the back post and hope maybe it curves in. A wall of Lions down there trying to crash the goal, and he kicks it way too high. Didn't kick, keep his knee over the ball. Fans are trying to egg on the, the Lions as the goal kick will come out for McCallum. Ball is through. McCallum gets behind the defense. Great defense there as uh, Lopez Matas was able to stop that. Lions will work it down the right side. Lions will get it up front. It, they're trying to get it to cruise, it looks like, but they were unable to do so. They do get the ball back, though. Here they go down the left side. They drop it to Olvera in the middle. He'll shoot, and it goes over the goal.
A goal kick is in the process here for McCallum, but they're taking their sweet time because they know they got time on their side. He finally clears it out there. Lockhart gets the ball back. Parsegian should have gotten a card, and I think he's going to get one. No, they're not going to get Parsegian. They're actually going to get Ayero. Parsegian was the one to make the dirty tackle. Ayero will step out with a yellow card. The Lions will have a free kick in which it looks like Angel, Angel Cantera is going to take it. He's waiting for his guys to get down the field so he can set it up. Two minutes and 45 seconds left to go in the game. one nothing McCallum on top. They, instead of kicking it long, they just decide to fast play it. Now they take it to the middle. And McCallum steals it. They're going to send it long. Now it's a foot race to the ball. They'll play it all the way back to the keeper. And now we're going to go the other way as Cantero will bring it out of the backside. Lockhart looks to be kind of pressing it a little bit. But when you only have about two minutes to go to, to tie the score, you're going to press a little bit. Uh, McCallum will get the ball. Now Lockhart gets it back. Down the right side it goes. Sanchez Diaz gets played off the ball, still on it, trying to make a play in the middle. He'll cross the middle of the field, and McCallum is able to clear it out. <clears throat> Lockhart will get it back. They'll send it to the middle. Trying to get a shot off of the Lions. They're fighting in the corner. I think we'll have a corner kick. And it will be another corner. That's the fourth one of this half, the sixth one of the match for the Lions. A minute five to go in the game. This is a big one right here. The Lions can't get it in there. And they're going to call it a goal kick. So we have a man down, and we're just kind of waiting that one out. As I said at the conclusion of the game, we'll have your offensive and defensive players of the game. He's still down. Looks to be one of their defenders. And he'll come off the field. So we'll have about 48 seconds to go here in the match. And the Lions will be scrapping along, trying to get that ball back to get a shot on goal and to even this thing up as we are very late in the contest. And here comes the play. 45 seconds to go.
McCallum will have it. Now they're just going to waste time as there's 30 seconds to go. Down to 15 seconds to go. They're just stalling time now. That's about all you can do. That's going to do it as the Lions are going to lose tonight at home against the McCallum Knights. The final score, one to nothing. The McCallum Knights will win. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll hit our commercial breaks. And uh, once we uh, get back, we'll have your offensive and defensive players of the game. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network, fueled by Vipe Live. Johnny and Sons Pain and Body has been Lockhart's premier collision repair and auto body shop since 1967. Certified iCar Standard, the highest ranking in the collision industry. For all your collision needs, come by and see Johnny and Sons 400 Blackjack in Lockhart. Johnny and Sons Pain and Body. We won't Johnny steer you Sons wrong. Pain and Body has. Chisholm Trail Barbecue features slow cooked brisket, hot sausage, beef, and pork ribs done the right way. In a town famous for barbecue, Chisholm Trail is where the locals come to eat. Visit Chisholm Trail Barbecue, 1323 South Colorado in Lockhart, and come by after the game. Chisholm Trail Barbecue stays open until midnight after every home football game. Paypart Design Build LLC is a general contractor who resides and serves Lockhart residents and surrounding communities. Paypart Design Build LLC is a local builder established in 2006 and is insured, bonded, and accredited by the Better Business Bureau. Paypar Design Build LLC provides both residential and commercial new construction, remodeling services, and specializes in kitchen and bath design. Call 512-784-6940 or email kpartdesignbuild at yahoo.com to schedule a consultation with free estimates. Follow them on Facebook at Kpart Design Build and at Kpart Kitchen Bath. Green Group Holdings is a proud sponsor of Lion Country. Green Group is an environmental services company that specializes in the planning, implementation, and operation of waste disposal, recycling, reuse, and restoration projects. These projects are designed with the environment and safety as the highest priorities, with an approach that provides significant value to the communities in which they're located. Currently, Green Group is proposing a development in northern Caldwell County. 130 Environmental Park. This proposed project will be a state-of-the-art, environmentally friendly, mixed-use development a few miles north of Lockhart, Texas. All right, we're back here at Lockhart, Texas, where the Lions will drop their uh, district match to uh, McCallum Knights 1-0. The only blemish on the night for the Lions, so to speak, was giving Seth Parsegian a free kick from about 28 yards out straight onto the goal. He went up or 90 on it. Our keeper had no chance of getting to it. And that's really the only scary shot other than Cruz having a couple early on for the Lions. And um, they were really unable to uh, contest a goal or even put one on that was even scary, to be, to be honest with you. Both teams battled it out in between the 20s. Neither one of them put on a very good show scoring tonight but you know both teams played well um as far as the stats the shots for the lions 13 the shots for mccallum 10 the corners for the lions six the corners for mccallum two again the one shot the goal the free kick by seth parsegian was the difference in the contest making that one to nothing and the final score and we'll go ahead now and give you your johnny and sons defensive players of the game there's going to be three of them since we don't do a whole lot of the boys' games, we're going to get several of the guys some, some love here. So we're going to go with uh, Anthony Parra, the junior, Angel uh, Cantera, the junior, and Ivan Lopez Maras, the senior. Those three gentlemen did a really good job in the back tonight, and we'll give them the Johnny and Sons defensive players of the game. On the other side, got to go with the Chuck Nash offensive player being the two guys that did the most damage up front. Jorge Cruz, the junior, was just Always a pain in their side the whole game. They they literally had to double and triple team him. 
in the box because of what he was doing early on. So Jorge Cruz, the junior, and also the guy that did it all. He could have been a defensive player of the game and the offensive player of the game. And I've got to give a shout-out to Daniel Sanchez Diaz, Jr., the senior, as he was able to uh, pretty much do everything tonight for the Lions, played really well, was probably the standout player of the game um, overall. But those are the five gentlemen that have won awards tonight with Lion Country Broadcast Network for offensive and defensive players of the game. So with that being said, we'll be here again next Friday night, uh, 7.35 for the pregame, 7.45 for the kickoff. The Lions will drop to 5-3-2 and two now in district play, and McCallum will go to 4-2-2 two and two in district play. So I uh, want to give one more shout-out to Rosie Bega, my QA. Thank you very much, young lady, for helping me out and being here with me. And for myself, Scott Smith, want to wish all of you a good night, and we'll see you again next Friday.